Hello, in this video I want to have a look at uh, a series of connections um, in my hometown of Sydney, also the capital city of Australia which is Canberra and the National Carillion or the Bell Tower and, uh, and Astana in Kazakhstan. Astana is just like Washington, just like Canberra, just like Brasilia. It's a, what's termed a New Jerusalem. It's one of these uh, cities which is entirely built from the ground up uh, full of esoteric, occult, hermetic knowledge. Now the uh, Pyramid of Peace and Reconciliation, I've uh, touched on that earlier and how the, the measurements throughout um, connect to Sun, Earth and Moon and all these other elements. It also uh, creates a phi scale. But if we, as we zoom in on each one of these little panels on, well not little but the smaller panels that make up the, the pyramid face, there are a series of well, 81 triangles but that creates 51 small nodes. Now 81 itself is important but staying on 55. Even the pyramid itself, so even though it's, it's mainly hollow on the inside but the, that five layer system would, would uh, require 55 smaller pyra pyramids to make up the larger pyramid which in itself I think is uh, another connection because uh, back to Sydney and on the harbour here, the Royal Botanical Gardens uh, next to the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. Now Sydney is overflowing with um, this type of architecture, the history of it, there's uh, really is no dispute about it. Um, the measurements uh, bear the point out. It might make some people uncomfortable but it's the truth. And the uh, Tropical Gardens. Now the pyramid here has been recently demolished it was, uh, but um, uh, replaced with a, a newer tropical centre but it's also one of the, well just like Astana and as we'll see with the Carillion, this number 55 is one of those hidden in plain sight things. So yeah, just like the Astana Pyramid, each one of those uh, smaller triangles was made up of 81 triangles or 51 nodes. So is the, uh, the former um, tropical garden. Over to Canberra via Australia's Washington, the equivalent of Astana in Kazakhstan and the National Carillion or, or Bell Tower. It's made of three fused obelisks and that's like it's even in the literature so it's very um, yeah it's it, the ancient symbolism is in a, is apparent um, even though it's just shifted into modern um, type of building methods and the, you can see the Bell Tower section up there. As you move underneath you, you can see this geometry start to appear so all these little triangles but there um, it might it's yeah, it's fo it's concealing knowledge concealing information in there and it's this um, connects so much now it would be 27 nodes around the border as 81 triangles so it's it's full with uh, um, other harmonic Pythagorean numbers but 55 nodes and interesting it uh, contains 55 bells a Carillion technically needs 23 to be a Carillion not just a simple bell tower now as you extend that geometry out you can see how even the spacings between those obelisk pylons um, will generates this star which now has 108 triangles 108 is one of the one of the holy grail numbers in this type of system uh, the cube or the hexagon with inside has a would has 37 nodes in total and the the larger star has 73 nodes in total so this in itself is pretty cool because 73 and 37 are both prime numbers uh, in this system of when you look at the numbers within this geometry 37 and 73 are the only primes to appear so along with uh, generating 108 as well as well 81 and all the other Pythagorean lovely numbers uh, we also generates 55 and 37 and 33 they are the only primes that appear in that geometry and they are palindrome primes 37 is the 12th prime 73 is a 21st prime a palindrome of position and the palindrome of the numbers themselves 21 and 12 reverse them 37 and 73 they reverse uh, so, but also, well, 108 has um, a lot of strong connections to the, uh, well, a whole bunch of stuff, um, but the golden ratio as well uh, through the pentagram, but uh, sticking with uh, 55. 
So with this card, we can uh, sum up just sum of the collection of that um, those three uh, sites that I've mentioned. And uh, earlier I mentioned the tractus or triangular numbers. Well, the tenth triangular number is 55. So one plus two plus three plus four plus five, etc. Up to up to ten is 55. But also the Fibonacci numbers: one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, fifty-five. That's the tenth as well. So, um, as with all these things, to uh, it's not just a, a random element, um, and and not just a, a meaningful on one level. Each will have multiple meanings. Um, for instance, the Carillion, along with fifty-five nodes, that geometry expanded out has one hundred and eight, and all the other lovely Pythagorean numbers. Um, and also, well, it's the Fibonacci spirals and the Tractor. So these are the uh, two key elements that um, come up in the tracing boards and and in, in the architecture across uh, all of these cities and and all of these sites. So yes, multiple levels, multiple forms, um, expressed in in different ways as well. So uh, for instance, um, some. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of uh, sites, but it, it's one of these things to look out for. And one of the most obvious forms, which is, it is presented, is this triangle, which will be uh, divided up into ten layers. Uh, so yes, uh, Tetractus and uh, Pythagorean uh, schools, a Pythagorean oath, but the Fibonacci numbers and the golden section and phi, uh, one of the fundamentals. And yeah, so again, multiple forms, multiple levels. Uh, so end up with a quick review of a pyramid of peace and reconciliation. Um, it has these five levels, uh, which is indicative of a tractus as well, but 55 nodes per section. If you were to uh, build that pyramid and extend that framework uh, fully out, it would take 55 small pyramids to make up the total. That's uh, the second level now. Um, the uh, tropical garden, the pyramid in Royal Botanical Gardens in Sydney, 55 nodes per face. I haven't been able to get, it's been demolished, I haven't been able to get the exact height, but it's either, it's somewhere between 55 or was between 55 and 56 feet. And the National Carillion in Canberra, the geometry underneath for free fused obelisks, 55 nodes in total and 55 bells. Again, uh, multiple levels, multiple forms to reinforce this uh, very important uh, number, which again connects to uh, phi and the tractus and, and so much more. So this was a, another one of the essential elements in the Hermetic Code of Design. Uh, virtually well, probably every city in the world will have it to some extent, but some cities such as Sydney, uh, Washington, Canberra, Brasilia and Astana were founded on it. It's a lovely thing, I think. It encourages thought. Um, more than just the numbers and the measures, which I tend to focus on, there's uh, also so much more symbolism underneath, and it's very much wrapped up in the ancient world and ancient knowledge, and it has uh, ethical, philosophical, and so many other implications that are uh, almost endless depth to it. Um, and it will, yeah, yeah so I'd, I'd encourage anyone to, to look, um, to forget everything you think you might know about it, um, everything that uh, tends to get uh, m most of the uh, internet uh, rumour, unfounded rumour, uh, based on, on no research. Uh, essentially anyone who's, who screams demonic Satan or whatever doesn't understand the history, doesn't understand the depth to it, and are probably best avoided, um, unless until they get their head right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.